welcome. It's Mary Ellen McGonigal here with Stock Charts TV. 2021 Top 10 Influential Market Events. Let's get started. For those not familiar, I'll give a bit of background as to who I am. I do have quite a bit of experience working not only on Wall Street, but with Wall Street, where during my 15 years with William O'Neill and company, I worked with top portfolio managers, advising them on not only the broader markets, but individual stock selection as well. And I point that out because my background there was very much centered on uncovering these stocks poised to go faster and much higher than the broader markets. I was a portfolio manager prior to that. I managed over $2 billion in assets, so quite familiar with a lot of the daily swings, and this year is no exception. I am currently the founder of MEM Investment Research. I have a top performing newsletter, my MEM Edge Report, twice weekly. And then it's powered by Simpler Trading, where I'm the senior managing director of stocks. So let's get started with our agenda. Today, I will take a look and share with you a review of the broader markets this year. Also, some of the best performers into December, and these top leading groups were also the most volatile. Also, I will share with you the key metric that was the backdrop for those top performers that were also the most volatile. So let's get started. Here we are with the daily price chart of the S&P 500, taking us back to the beginning of this year into this first week of December. And it was quite dicey. For those of us that were investing in individual stocks as opposed to broader market indices, you can see that we've had a series of pullbacks in the S&P 7 to be exact. And I will tell you, among other industry groups, there were many more in the way of pullbacks and subsequent uptrends, as well as declines that were higher than what the S&P has posted. We will get into all of this as we move forward. From here, let's take a look at those top performers from January to December. This is using a year-to-date view. And what I'm going to be focusing on today are these top three areas, in particular energy, financials, and technology. While real estate was a top performer and is also very responsive to that one metric I'll be sharing with you today, the other groups I'm focused on are quite a bit larger as they're represented in the S&P 500. So let's take a look. 56% performance within energy stocks, financials, and technology, each up 34%. This is comparing to the S&P 500 up 24% year to date. So quite nice in the way of outperformance. So from here, I'm going to share with you that top market moving catalyst for 2021, and that is interest rates. We're looking right now at a daily price chart of the yield on the 10-year Treasury bond. So let's take a look at these pretty big moves. I'm sharing with you from February into April. The yield did go from 1.2 all the way up to one7 as we move on the beginning of June into the beginning of September, we did see a drop from that 1.6 level down to 1.1. And moving forward more recently from this late September into early December period, we did see another significant move from this 1.3 level all the way up to close to 1.7%. So significant swings here in the yield on this 10-year treasury. So let's go ahead and move forward and take a look at the impact that these interest rates have had on some of these larger moving sectors for the year. First up, we are going to take a look at energy. That was the top performer up over 50% year to date. And wanted to share with you that rising interest rates are tied to rising inflation. We are in a period of inflationary increases, and energy sector is 
the best performer in the S&P 500 during periods when inflation rises. So from here, let's take a look at XLE. This is the energy sector within the S&P 500. And I'm sharing with you those exact same parameters as it relates to the yield on the 10-year treasury. Taking a look here from that February into the beginning of April period, the energy sector rose 31% as interest rates were rising. As we move forward that June into September period when we saw interest rates declining, energy stocks also fell 19% from peak down here to this trough area. More recently from the late September period into the beginning of December, we did see another increase in interest rates. During this period, energy stocks rose 28%. Now, I'd be remiss to not tell you that there were other factors driving the price of energy stocks, but most importantly, that interest rate backdrop is a driver. So from here, let's take a look at the third best performer year to date, and that is the financial sector. Historically, it's been among the most sensitive to changes in interest rates. This is particularly true of bank stocks within the financial sector. So let's take a look at Bank of America, one of the larger bank stocks in this group. And again, sharing with you those same parameters, February into the beginning of April when interest rates were on the rise, Bank of America gained 38% during that period. And then as we move forward this beginning of June period into the beginning of September, we did see interest rates generally on the decline. Bank of America did from this peak to trough period declined 12% However, it did gain ahead of a rise later in the year in interest rates. So from here, I did want to talk about the technology sector. This was the fourth performer among those sectors that far outpaced the broader markets. And in particular, big tech and growth stocks are sensitive to higher interest rates. And this is because their valuations are going to be based on future growth and future cash flow. So as interest rates rise, the value of that future cash flow is going to be discounted. So hence, higher interest rates are not good for big tech and growth stocks. From here, let's take a look at the software ETF, a big grower within the technology sector. Again, those same parameters here when interest rates were on the rise back here in the beginning of the year, we did see a 17% decline in software stocks. And then as interest rates began to decline from this June into September periods, software stocks flourished and were up 25% during that period, with many individual stocks up quite a bit more. More recently here, we can see a deterioration from this late November into early December period, all about higher inflation fears causing software stocks to tumble. Let's take a look at a high growth stock. And here we're looking at a daily chart of mega cap growth stock Apple. Same parameters on the interest rates. And we can see as interest rates were rising from that February to April period, Apple experienced a 20% decline. And then moving forward as interest rates were declining that June into September period, Apple was able to appreciate 28%. So we can see, again, other factors were impacting the price of Apple, but certainly interest rates had a large impact. So let's take a look at the conclusion. Basically, changes in interest rates can have a profound effect on select areas of the market, such as those that I've just reviewed. At this time, the Federal Reserve is poised to tighten their monetary policy, reduce their bond buying, which in turn could easily lead to higher interest rates. So as you are looking at the markets, and particularly stocks within the technology, financial, and energy sectors that we've just reviewed, please keep in mind the high impact of interest rates. Thank you for watching. 
2021 Top 10 Influential Market Events on Stock Charts TV. Hey, Grayson Rhodes here with Stock Charts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, consider giving it a like down below. Maybe leave us a comment. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe at the link up above. We're going to bring you daily content from an incredible collection of technical analysts and financial experts.